Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling in Dash for the 5th of November. The year is 2021. We're your hosts. I'm David. Next to me, affectionate Hana. Across the table is Ollie. Two wonderful golden retrievers that want to go to a park, but it's raining outside. And Uvella. Who wants to go to a park and it's <laughs> raining outside. <laughs> As well. Today I'm calling this one Live. And we're drawing from Job's chapter 28 and 29 and Galatians chapter 1 and 2. So for me... I'd like to pray. Yeah, go ahead. I'm No, I'm looking at it says chapter 20, but it doesn't tell me where it's from. Go ahead. Okay, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us safe trip and safe journeys. We ask that you um, help us to find the beauty in the pouring down rain and the gale force winds. We ask that your word continues to help us to grow closer to you. Amen. Amen. Gale force winds. What did you say was happening this morning while I was sleeping? Well, we're at Seaside, Oregon. It's uh, the northern tip, if you will, of the Oregon coast. And we're under a high wind advisor until seven o'clock tonight. But the worst of it was this morning, which you all slept through. And that was between <laughs> five and six. And Dash was going this way, but it never went this way. And that's a good thing. But now we just were stuck with the winds and um, hopefully we can still go out for a drive and see some of the, the area. We'll keep the dogs with us just to put more weight in that vehicle. Sure. <laughs> I don't think they want to be alone without us. <laughs> so what did, so if you said 20, that means Galatians 2.20? I believe so. Out. Does it begin with, I have been? I have been. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have the same right answer? No, we both journaled on the same thing. There's no wrong answer if you stick with scripture. Then I'll explain that. So, I'm pulling from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave me himself. He gave himself for me. My observation, Paul sends a letter to the Galatian churches and reminds everyone to follow the one true gospel of God. If they do not, then whatever they are following is for nothing. Paul says that he died to the living of himself and now lives for Jesus. Paul lives by faith in the belief that Jesus uh, died as a sacrifice for all our sins. My application. There are always going to be arguments over what people call themselves or what the true definition of a word is. I'm not going to debate people on things that will not matter in five or ten years down the road. If people have questions, I will explain my beliefs, but this is why I go back to wanting to read and or listen to the Bible. I do not want to create my own gospel or something of my own making, some God of my own making. I want to live with the one true gospel found only in scripture. My prayer. God, thank you for showing me your way. Assist me to have discernment enough to understand false storylines or made up gospels that lead to nothing or worse. Help me be encouragement to other Christ followers and assist my words to be your words. Place other true Christ followers in my path to encourage me and to keep me following only your ways. Amen, Pastor David. Very good. Yeah, it's um, interesting because we're just starting up this YouTube channel and the podcast and stuff like that. And a few people are making comments and things like that. But this is life journaling that we've done for close to 20 years. And we do it for ourselves. And then we thought, well, maybe we could record it and somebody else could um, be encouraged by the daily reading of Scripture. I mean, that's not a bad thing. And then today I'm looking at our channel and I'd heard reports that there's some famous golden retrievers out there not you guys yet Ollie and Hana but there's one out there that has 346,000 followers or subscribers and I thought that's interesting but you know life journaling and stuff like that if we could have 346,000 life journalers for Jesus that would be a wonderful thing. 
I'm not bad mouthing the the golden retriever channel, Hana. She just put her hand on my chest. But I'm just saying, you know, people are going to want to follow what they want to follow. I want to follow and I want to live for Jesus. I agree, but I can also understand why you want to watch these beautiful dogs. Cute, cute dogs and puppies. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I journaled on the same scripture you did. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. My observation. Paul is telling the Galatians a little about himself. He explains that God called him to preach to the Gentiles. He explains that salvation cannot be obtained through the law. He explains that he now lives a life that is built by faith in God through Jesus Christ. My application. I, like Paul, live by faith in Jesus. However, I cannot say that I have totally died to self and the life I now live is totally for God. There are still times that I am selfish. However, little by little, I am moving towards this goal of living my life totally for God. My prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming to this earth and dying for our sins so that we have eternal life with you, God, and the Holy Spirit when we die. You knew that the law in the Old Testament could not bring us eternal life, and the only way for eternal life to occur was by your death on the cross and your resurrection. You completely died to self for me and everyone else. Thank you for forgiving me each day as I make selfish decisions and giving me new starts each time I ask for forgiveness. You never grow tired of my poor decision makings, but continue to nourish me through your word and encourage me to get back up and try again. With your help, I have made progress over the years of becoming more like you, but I have a long ways to go. Thank you for your patience, love, and encouragement as I live each day. Amen. Dying to self is an ongoing battle for everybody. We all have those things. Mine happen to be cookies. And uh, I'm not mentioning names. Ice cream's a factor <laughs> in somebody's life. I'm not mentioning any names, but I'm just saying that we all have these different things. And for me, that's something I'm going to look at uh, closely in the next six weeks you said a habit takes how long to form uh, that is incorrect data <laughs> it takes a while yeah um, it takes usually 66 days <clears throat> yeah some people say 21 days but we did some research on that but the, the point of it is is that I can start with day one in both you know ways of people thinking how long it takes to form a habit I can start with day one and go on to day two of not eating those cookies I think the important thing to remember is that um, when you talk about dying to self the, a lot of things that you choose to do are not sins are not wrong however whenever they proceed doing what God has asked you to do then that becomes wrong for example, let's say, mm, I want to stay up till 2 a.m. Oh, wait, I do that all the time. Not all the time, a lot. And it would be better if I went to bed earlier so I could get up earlier so that I would have more daylight time to do things. So whenever the Lord is saying, maybe you should go to bed earlier, and it's like, oh, Lord, I know, thank you, but I think I'm going to do this instead. That's when it becomes wrong. Tomorrow's readings come to us from Job chapter 30, Psalm 120, and Galatians chapters 3 and 4. And we'll go ahead and close in prayer. Okay. Father God, thank you so much for revealing yourself to us. Uh, help guide us, protect us as long as we're here on this earth so that we can be bearing fruit for you. Um, thank you for discernment that you've given us, but also we pray for everybody watching and for ourselves that we would not fall under false doctrine, that we would follow only you, the God with a big G. And we ask this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. Amen.